Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be interesting to show you guys what an entire night with a newborn really looks like. Navy is two weeks old now and is exclusively breastfed. She is still very small, weighing only six pounds, so she usually wakes up every two to three hours to nurse. If you are new here, I also have a four-year-old son named Weston and a two-year-old son named Noah. They are in bed by 7.30 and I find that it's easier to start Navy's nighttime routine once they're asleep. Around 8.30 is when I like to start getting her ready. I usually start with bath time and as you can tell, she is definitely not the biggest fan. She only gets a bath every three days, so on the nights that she doesn't get a bath, I will still wash her neck rolls to clean out any spit up that may have gotten stuck in there. It's just the two of us. Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well since Navy doesn't like bath time, I make sure to stop and give her some extra love and kisses to help calm her down. It's like she stole my heart without knowing she did. But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go she will Navy loves being swaddled at night and the swaddle that we have really been loving is the love to dream swaddle so far it's worked really great it allows them to keep their hands up by their face instead of down by their sides if that's something that your baby prefers i also really like that this swaddle is a zipper instead of velcro because when my boys were babies the velcro always woke them up in the middle of the night After her first night feeding, I will lay her in her snuggle me while I pump any remaining milk. I have an oversupply and get extremely engorged if I don't pump at least three times a day. I always make sure to pump before going to bed because if I don't, I will be extremely uncomfortable throughout the entire night because I will be so engorged. Closer, I wanna stay here with you. As you can see, I put my pumped milk into a bottle and then pour it into the breast milk storage bag. The reason I do that is because I find it's easier for me to get a more accurate measurement on how much milk I actually pumped if I do it that way. If I'm giving you my love, giving you my love, love If you guys 
guys are interested in hearing about my tips and tricks for building a big freezer stash of breast milk, I will make sure to have that video linked down below in the description box. As long as I can be here with you, everything's alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Around 11.30 is when Navy is ready for another feed. I don't know about you guys, but I refuse to leave my bed four times a night, so I just keep her diapers and wipes on my nightstand and change her on my bed. I also make sure to change her diaper before feeding her because she usually falls asleep once she's done nursing, and that way I can just put her right back into her bassinet without waking her back up to change her diaper. Like I said, Navy wakes up every two to three hours to nurse, so she was up at two in the morning and then again at five in the morning ready to eat. As you can tell, I do sleep with a little nightlight on. That is actually my sound machine. It is the Hatch Baby Rest. I love that thing and the reason I sleep with the light on is because I have some anxiety about her not breathing, so I like to keep it on so that if I wake up, I can just look over and make sure that she is breathing just fine. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You set my world on fire. You're my I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. Around 7:30 is when the boys usually wake up. Jamie did have the day off. So he got up with the boys and it let me lay in bed for a little bit longer. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? Around 8 o'clock, I will wake up Navy, change her diaper like usual, unswaddle her, and let her do some big morning stretches before feeding her. Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. You said my world on fire. I just want you. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do, I just want you, I just need you. There is honestly nothing sweeter in the world than watching a little newborn stretch. It's one of my favorite things. After she is done nursing, her and I will cuddle in bed for just a little while longer before getting up for the day. If you are a new mama, please just remember to soak in all of those newborn snuggles. Time goes by so fast and there's nothing sweeter than spending that quality time with your newborn baby. Yeah. 